So if you go downtown Santa Fe to the historic plaza, right in the center of the plaza, you'll see this. All it is is a box that marks a place where a monument used to be. Now this monument was Soldier's Monument. It was erected to commemorate the veterans of New Mexico. Originally it was erected to commemorate the veterans who fought in the Civil War. Believe it or not, there was a few Civil War battles fought here in New Mexico. If you want to watch the details, I made a video about it. The video is called The Battle of Glorieta Pass, The Gettysburg of the West. Go watch it on my channel and you'll learn all about it. While this memorial was built to the veterans who fell and died during that, during that, during those skirmishes and those battles that took place here in New Mexico. So that's what it originally was for. So they put plaques around it. So the plaques on three sides commemorated specifically the Civil War battles that were fought here in New Mexico. And then they made a fourth plaque a little later trying to commemorate all the veterans period, including the conquistadores that fought with the natives. And back in the day, I guess there was a lot of strife at the time when they wrote this. So these are what the plaques read. The first one, to the heroes of the Federal Army who fell at the Battle of Valverde. They fought with the rebels February 21st, 1862. Now just for clarification, the rebels is talking about was the Confederate Army. Now the second plaque, erected by the people of New Mexico through their legislatures of 1866, 7, 8, May the Union be perpetual. Then the third one, to the heroes of the Federal Army who fell at the battles of Cañón de la Pache and Pigeons Ranch, La Glorieta. They fought with the rebels March 28, 1862, and to those who fell at the battle fought with the rebels at Peralta in April 15th of 1862. So this became a monument for the veterans of New Mexico. So for the fourth plaque, they wrote this. To the heroes who have fallen in the various battles with blank Indians in the territory of New Mexico. Now when I was a kid I remember seeing this and wondering what the blank, what they scratched out. So my grandpa told me it used to say savage. It, it used to say the savage Indians. So it was a plaque commemorating the Spanish people who fought with the natives of the land. And the way they put it does sound pretty racist and wrong, right? So of course some stuff happened probably when I was a baby or even before and they scratched off the savage part trying to make it right then they even put this sign trying to explain so they wrote monument text reflects the character of the times in which they are written and the temper of those who wrote them this monument was dedicated in 1868 near the close of a period of intense strife which pitted northerner against southerner Indian against white Indian against Indian Thus, we see on this monument, as in other records, the use of such terms as savage and rebel. Attitudes change and prejudices hopefully dissolve. Protests at the Santa Fe Plaza turned violent this afternoon with protesters toppling the obelisk. It comes after three days of protests where some protesters chained, chained themselves to the controversial monument. News 13's Brady Wakayama is live there with a look. This is what's left of the obelisk. Now, it, this has stood here since the 1800s. City workers were constructing a barrier around it today to protect it, but protesters managed to wrap ropes around it and rip it down. <laughs> this is video from the New Mexican showing no police on site as protesters took over. Witnesses told the New Mexican that police were there earlier in the day to forcibly remove demonstrators who were laying on the monument, but they left. That's when this group took over. This comes after a three-day occupation at the plaza. Protesters angry that this obelisk still stands. It was erected in 1866 to honor Civil War era soldiers who died in battle. It's been criticized for being oppressive to Native Americans. Earlier this year, Mayor Weber ordered the obelisk, removed it, was too heavy, so only the plaque was removed, and the mayor promised further discussion on its future. Today on Indigenous Peoples Day, these protesters supporting Native Americans took drastic measures. Some people applaud the move, others are angry. Well, you know, I am for the Native Americans and for their rights. And I, I represent the Navajos in many ways too. I think it's terrible. I mean, you know, <laughs> well, I think it's terrible. I mean, you're destroying beauty. 
Now, right now, all protesters have left the scene, but there still are some folks here taking pictures, taking vid videos of what's left. And I did see police at every corner here now monitoring the situation. We did ask them if any arrests were made or if there's any other information they can give us, but they did not disclose anything. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Brady. Now, there's also been a very active group in Santa Fe fighting to keep monuments such as this. They argue many are part of our history, and it's a disservice to the Spanish people to remove such monuments. There have been several counter protests at sites like the Oñate and De Vargas statues. So that's the reason why Soldiers Monument isn't there anymore, why there's just this box covering it. The natives tore it down in 2020, and then in 2021, the mayor named Alan Weber, which comes from out, a guy who comes from out of town. I'll do a separate video about him because I don't like him, but he decided to tear down the monument, put that box over it, put a sign explaining why, and then tear down the Don Diego de Vargas statue that was in the Cathedral Park. But a lot of veterans still hold this monument sacred. They hold it with respect. They still have veterans memorials there to respect those who died fighting any kind of battle in New Mexico. Watch this. Did you know New Mexico played a major role in winning the American Civil War? Join us March 23rd, 12 o'clock noon at the historic Santa Fe Plaza for a remembrance celebration event honoring the brave New Mexico soldiers who fought in the Battle of Glorieta Pass and Valverde exactly 162 years ago. We will also come together to honor our great veterans that are still with us today. The Battle of Glorieta also known as the Gettysburg of the West, was a turning point in the American Civil War with New Mexico fighting on the right side of history against slavery. There is still a surprisingly high number of descendants of these past heroes living in Santa Fe and New Mexico. Join us as we come together to honor these ancestors of New Mexico and while you are here, sign our petition to have the monument rebuilt. The event starts at 12 o'clock noon on Saturday, March 23rd. There will be great speakers and a brief history lesson will be given by historian Tomas Chavez. The names of those soldiers fallen in battle will be read to honor their memory. Unfortunately, there are some in our community that don't fully understand our history or the sacrifices New Mexicans have made in the cause of freedom for all our residents. Although the Soldiers' Monument was vandalized, leaving our community itself feeling damaged, we can take a positive step toward healing by remembering why it is there, honoring our brave veterans still with us, and reviving the old tradition of honoring past generations that fought and died for the freedoms we all enjoy today. Anyway, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about Soldiers' Monument because I was just downtown the other day and I seen it, and I just wanted to talk about why it was built, what it was there for, why it was taken down, and why it's not there anymore. So I hope you learned something new. Thank you for watching. This is Tragedy. I'm out.